Play a shitty game for the 98th fucking time. Daydreamin' Davy. Should I even care who the hell Davy is? Oh no, it's Hal. Don't trust anything called Hal. Actually, the same company created Kirby and developed Super Smash Bros. Maybe this won't be so bad then. Awesome! Oh no, I just jinxed the whole thing. Well, as you probably guessed from the title, this is all about a kid who daydreams. Starts out, Davy's in school, and a bully steals his pencil. So he's gotta get the pencil back? Man, that's some epic storyline right there. So, Davy falls asleep in class and dreams he's in the Middle Ages. It's like your typical Zelda-esque adventure, but instead of trying to save a princess and save the lives of everyone in the land from evil forces, it's all about getting a pencil. Right from the beginning, you're stuck behind some rocks. Guess I can't go past them, so I'll just go right. Oh, you can't go right. Hmm, maybe you push the rocks out of the way? No, they don't move. Maybe I jump over them? Hmm, A attacks, B does nothing. Well, I guess I can't jump then. Suppose I'm done with this game. Oh, B and A. You have to hit them at the same time! Ugh! You know what I love in games? When you get some kind of item that gives you invincibility or stops time, but only lasts about three seconds! And how the enemies can go through trees, but you can't? That's really fair. Then you get to a large knight named Lumper. When you beat him, you'll get the lance, which is supposed to represent Davy's pencil. Why does he care so much about a fucking pencil? Was he planning to take it home after school and shove it up his ass or something? Then he starts telling the teacher he was lost in this forest, as if he was really there, like the fucking teacher's gonna believe him. So she cuts him off and says, it's artwork time. Get ready to draw. Draw, draw, like it's a chore. What? He goes to sleep again? He falls asleep again? That's the one time in school I wouldn't fall asleep. I mean, during my normal classes, I'd be drawing on the pages of my MacBook and shit. That's the whole point. You draw when you're bored of school. He should have fallen asleep during math class or something boring. Did the game programmers really not know the difference between something the kids like and something they don't like? I love how they depict going into the dream world with a trippy vortex. It's like something out of an Atari game. So now we're in the Old West. There's vultures shitting, exploding, bloody diarrhea. Ugh, gross. And what's going on here? What's going on here? You can't walk behind the store? That makes no sense. Oh, sorry. I was just daydreaming about playing a better fucking game. So the object here is to catch a bad guy. Why would a kid be buying guns and going after a criminal? Well, it's his fantasy, whatever. You don't see that in games too often today. Imagine Call of Duty playing as a seven-year-old. Anyway, you go in this building, a guy starts shooting you, and you die. This is the only part that uses a fucking targeting system. I move the cursor right over his dick nose and shoot, but he still kills me. Oh, I see. You gotta shoot the gun. Well, duh, I should have guessed that, right? Anyway, another lame cutscene, and you end up in ancient Rome. I walked all around here, found a bow in some building. Some lady tells me not to cross the bridge before I get a shield. 
Well, I got a thing by a tree that I thought was the shield, so I went back and crossed the bridge, then a bunch of psychedelic flashes started fucking up the screen. Bummer. Apparently, that wasn't the shield. The game tricked me by putting a circular shaped object on the ground. Come on, why not let me know? Just have a sign that says, not the shield. So I keep searching around and eventually find the shield. I guess it's a shield. Looks like a bullseye or, I don't know, Daisy Duck's nipple or something. Now I'm back at the bridge. No trippy side effects this time. Now it's time to face the Cyclops. You use the shield to deflect his attack, I think. Okay, never mind, I'm dead. Oh, that's great, I have to start from the beginning of the stage? And I have to find the bow and the shield all over again? Alright, it didn't take me that long, but guess what? There's no more shield! What the hell? This is the same guy I killed last time, isn't it? So, now the game just isn't going to give me the shield? Well, I tried it again and again, and I figured out what the problem was. You're not supposed to kill the guy, you're supposed to touch him. That's right. So, the first time I got lucky. This is the one guy you're supposed to touch. If you kill him, the shield dies with him. Makes a lot of sense. So now, it's time to fight the Cyclops again. But first, some advice from this statue of, I don't know, Aphrodite or whoever the fuck it's supposed to be. The Cyclops is not truly dead until his eye is pierced. Okay, let's try it out. Alright, come on, come on, uh, you motherfucker, uh, come on, uh. Alright, he's dead. I didn't really aim at his eye, so I don't know what she was telling me about. Stupid lying bitch. How about tell me when I have to aim at somebody's gun? That would help. So here I am back in the Middle Ages, and I gotta fight a huge badass knight. Well, that Cyclops took a lot of abuse, so I'm thinking this guy's gonna be even harder. Uh, nope. Just slash at him a few times, and that's it. Don't you love games with totally sporadic difficulty? Then you get a sword, but of course it's a dream, so when he wakes up, it's a ruler he's holding. Why is he so excited about a ruler? Does he want to measure his turds? Then the teacher says, what are you doing? You're gonna see the principal for this. Um, for what? For measuring his turds in class? Then the principal starts yapping away, which sends Davy back to sleep. What is he on, medication or something? Why can't he stay awake? Davy? Okay, so now I'm in ancient Rome. Again. We're only five stages in, did they run out of ideas? Oh, wait, never mind. Now I'm in hell. Literally, I'm in hell! I gotta talk to some skeleton who says to get a coin or else I can't take his boat ride. Why would I want to get on a boat with some creepy skeleton anyway? Now I gotta leave hell to go find a coin because hell's cheap and there's no currency down there. I got a hint that the coin could be in a tree, so now I'm running all over the place whacking every tree with my sword. Well, damn, I just tried every tree in the whole stage. I don't know where else... Oh, of course. It's the tree in the very beginning. You gotta go all the way back to the first fucking trees you see. So, take the damn coin back to hell, give it to the skeleton, and he takes you on his boat to the other side of the river. Fight Cerberus, the three-headed dog, and after that, it's back to the Middle Ages. Again. But wait, now it's a winter wonderland? What's this, a pile of shit? Seriously, that's what it looks like. What else could it be? Fight the big knight, and then it's back to the Wild West again. Well, I guess the stages just repeat a lot, so get used to it. The sheriff has Davy go over to a bank to fight some robbers. Now I ran out of bullets, so I'm gonna try using my whip. But that doesn't work! The whip does nothing! So all I have left is a stick of dynamite. Well, that got him, but it's a little excessive. Kinda like robbing a bank with an atom bomb. Well, now I'm shit out of luck. No bullets and no more dynamite. So this time I restock. Look at that. 99 bullets. I'm ready to go. Come on, is this guy gonna die? Oh, okay, I used all 99 bullets and it didn't do anything. Maybe I'm supposed to go somewhere else, like go to the right? Nope. I'm exploring every inch of the screen here. Oh, only at the very bottom can you cross into the next screen. Wouldn't it be nice if there was something indicating which spot on the screen you're allowed to go right? What's this, a hooker? She asks if I need some help. Really, there's a Nintendo game where a hooker tries to sell herself to a kid. Now this whole thing is worth it.
Well, actually, she just gives you a relic, and you can trade that for a shotgun so you can kill those robbers. The next stage is Ancient Rome again. Now it's like a maze. Okay, so I'm dead. Then it asks me if I want to start from here again. Do I want to start from here? Yes, I would like that very much. What? I'm at the beginning of the stage? That's not what I chose, you lying fucking sack of shit! Then you fight the Medusa. This is probably the hardest boss in the game because you can't look at her when her eyes flash or else you'll turn to dust. Finally, when you kill her, you grab her head off the ground. You know what would be really awesome? If Davey woke up here and had the teacher's decapitated head in his hands. Yeah. So then it's on to Mount Olympus. I'm in the sky. Okay, here I use the shield to block the spears. The controls are stiff though. I press the button to have the shield come up, and it only works half the time. After you kill a guy, it lets you jump these gaps with the flying sandals. But you can only jump after you've killed an enemy. Why? Why can't Davey just jump over and run past all these guys? Why does the game force me to fight each individual enemy? Oh, guess I went the wrong way. Oh, and when you throw a spear, make sure the soldier's full bodies are on the screen. If they're off screen, even partially, it won't hit them. Classic video game logic. If you didn't actually see the spear hit, then it didn't happen. <sighs> so now we're in the Middle Ages for the tenth million time. You go pick up Elmo's inside out asshole, and then go through Winterland and Dark Evil Land or whatever, and fight a giant skeleton knight. I'm guessing this is the end of the game, after all the crap I went through to get here. Yeah, he's dead. What? Now I need a key? Oh my god, find the key. I'll find the fucking key, you fucking piece of shit. Okay, got the key, went in the door, now I'm fighting a dragon. Nothing special, just hit it with the sword a bunch of times. Then you get the Holy Grail. I had to take a leap of faith earlier, and now the Holy Grail? If only there was a big fight on top of an army tank. So Davy wakes up and the principal's like, where'd you get that trophy? So now Davy's actually bringing back objects from his dreams? Does this make any sense? You know what would be cool? If Freddy Krueger came out and clawed his fucking face off. Then the teacher puts on a film of the Wild West. Davy falls asleep, and now we're on the last stage. Thank God. Why is the Wild West at the end? We just fought a big dragon. That should have been the last stage. Anyway, you find another object that looks like a piece of crap. It transports you to another piece of crap, and eventually to hell. Then you're in a graveyard shooting at more robbers. Then you gotta shoot the gun out of the guy's hand again. This time, there's three of these guys in a row. After that, you've beaten the game. Couldn't they come up with something unique for a final boss, rather than just rehashing something we've already done? Not to mention, I hate this part. I hate that you have to position a cursor over the gun. Bummer. Couldn't they have made this into a more action-oriented boss fight, like in Sunset Riders? There's nothing enjoyable about this. Well, that's it. Basically, that's Daydreaming Davy. That's the whole game. Mediocre, that's what it is. So until next time, I'm gonna dream something better.